Hello, welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy. Hello. And Jules. And right now, we're reviewing Hot for Jesus, Save Your Soul. <laughs> Boy, wasn't that ironic? <laughs> it's in theaters and on Peacock. And I didn't know it was on Peacock until the day before I was going to go see it. And Miss yep. Jules was like, hey, watch it on Peacock. Yep. I was going to see it on Thursday. And I would have mm -hmm. seen it if the movies weren't $3 on Saturday, this past Saturday. And I would have been pissed off. But we'll get into that. <laughs> and it was great, by the way, that $3 um, Cinema Day. Yeah. Um, apparently, they had it at most theaters. Yeah. And it was insanely packed. I mean, when I talk about parking... Oh, yeah. Wall to wall. But All the theaters. concessions, they had everyone open. Um, I didn't wait more than 15 minutes because I contemplated. I walked in like, I did want some popcorn and a beef hot dog. But, oh, my gosh, these concession stands are insanely crowded. But I like, I always try to get there a little early because I like to sit my stuff down and go get my snacks and stuff. Yeah. But I was like, all right, let, let me try to see if I can get in this line and do it. And I did. It was only like 12 minutes, and I didn't miss any of the movie. And I, it was actually really good. People were quiet in there. I was surprised. Like, I was expecting, oh, God. you got to behave. Oh, there's going to be teenagers in here on the cell phone, people talking. But it wasn't. It was great. And then I left there, and I ran down the street, and I went to Majestic so I could see the movies back to back. Like, that was great. I wish they would do that maybe a couple times a year. They should. Three bucks. Hello, you know, movie theaters. Yeah, especially people with large families, with everything being so high. That was a great idea. So I, I had fun on Saturday. Cinema days. Mm -hmm. Cinema days. helps you too, not yep. just us. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this honk for Jesus, save yourself, because we got a few things to talk about. <laughs> it's rated R. It's one hour and 42 minutes mm -hmm. long. And it stars Regina Hall as Trinity Childs. Mm -hmm. She's the first lady. Mm -hmm. uh, Sterling K. Brown as Lee Curtis Childs. Handsome, handsome chocolate the pastor, man. of course. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole Bahari as Secura Sumter, Confidence as her husband Keon Sumter. They have a rival church. Mm -hmm. And Austin Crute as Khalil. There's a whole bunch of other people in here, but it's like they use a lot of people that aren't as famous. Mm -hmm. so, I remember Nicole cool. from I, Sleepy Hollow. I do remember her face. She has oh one of those yeah. faces you'll recognize. Oh, I seen her in that. Yeah, she's yeah, also in that new movie Breaking that just came out this weekend okay. with uh, John Boyega. Okay. And you do want to see that? I That's do. something you want to check out? It's on my okay. list. And we can go ahead and review it then. Couldn't see it Saturday, though, because $3, everybody in their mama, sister, cousin, brother. I felt like that, but I, it was actually, I told you, it was actually pretty decent. It was... No, I'm saying I looked at the tickets and it was like oh, one seat here, the seat. <laughs> one seat there, one seat way in the front. I was like, yeah, that's okay. And you know what? Um, uh, Majestic won't let you do that. So let's say you were going with your dad and let's say you wanted to sit here and you want you know, sit two seats away from your dad. They won't let you do it. Yeah. Not when you're doing it online anyways. You have to pick two seats that are together. And it makes sense that they do that because they don't want everything all scattered out. But yeah. I like the fact that you can pick your seats now. Well, for some reason, they had breaking in the smaller theaters. Mm -hmm. And, like, all the seats were sold out except for, like, one here, one there, mm -hmm. one there. Like, maybe, nah. Maybe. And those probably got taken up right before showtime. So I just said, you know what? I'll just pay regular price. And I can't sit in the front. That's an app to be like this with your neck hurting. I have to be like in the top five or six rows. Anything else is a nope. Yeah. So, okay, let's get let's let's, let's get out with this one because uh, we I think we're both on the same page here. So what what was uh, Hunk for Jesus save your soul about? So this is a satirical comedy <laughs> about was it a pastor and his wife? They they own a mega church, and there's a big scandal that happened. And so everybody left the church. And like I said, uh, Nicole Bahari and Confidence, they opened their own church, which a lot of people end up going to. But a lot of people left that mega church and it don't doesn't seem like they're coming back. And I do want to say one of the things that got me about this movie, okay. I'm thinking it's just gonna be, you know, you see it in previews that there's some kind of scandal, whatever. I felt discombobulated. Yeah watching this. I actually watched it twice. You know, I got Me through too. about three quarters of it. Yeah. And I said, wait a minute. I don't, this, is, why didn't I know about this? Where, where's this piece of information? I'm kind of so confused here. But then, so I went back and watched it again and some of the information just wasn't released enough to me to deter, describe exactly what was going on. First of all, okay, you had this mega church. It shut down because of a scandal. Yeah. Where are your junior pastors? Why did nobody pick this up? Because if this is a mega church, you know those break in millions. You know, yeah. if you look at so the ones on TV now, they rake in millions. There's no reason why he shouldn't have had a junior pastor or somebody that could have taken over. But 
I guess there's a reason you kind of caught it. I didn't catch well, why. Well, they said that they, they fired the deacons, but I don't know anything. They didn't mention anything like, about junior pastors, so I don't. So, like, okay, dude, why? You're running a mega church. You need help. So what did you do with all? You fired these people, okay, and everybody left so the they church? they had disagreements, and they wouldn't let him do what he wanted to well, do with his money. And, and, I, and, I, uh, and I can see why. I mean, he, he did talk a little bit about in there about his outfits and this and that, and I'm like, his planes. So they're and doing this. Cars. Yeah, they're doing this documentary, hoping to get people back in the church. But apparently, the scandal has not simmered down. It took me a while to figure out. Okay, were they children? Were they adults with the scandal? Were they men? They were said they women? At one point in the movie, that the the people that he was dealing with were of age. So. And and when people say that. Why, why, why would you need to say that? So that's what had me wondering for a while, were they underage? Like if, but then the if one they were that they showed to like he was of age, he seemed like he was 20-something. Yeah. Or 19 at least. I'm, I'm going with about 19. So we don't know when he started. Did he make advances that they don't really give us came to fruition? Did he just much. try stuff and they got offended and reported? We don't know. And it was discombobulated. It's just I felt like, like a it whole was bunch bouncy. of different just scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Just a whole bunch of different quick scenes, trying to uh, some trying to make you laugh, some just yes. uncomfortable, in my opinion. And it, and one thing I don't want people to do is watch this and think um, if you're not a church, per, you know, person that goes to church, that this is how all churches are. It's um, not. Absolutely freaking absolutely not. not. Okay, and when you see the movie, please watch it on. Pe I'm sorry, when I say watch it on Peacock. This pastor had no business being in anybody's pulpit. I'm sorry. I say if you really need to or feel like the need to want to see it, then watch it on Peacock. Otherwise, just skip it. <laughs> it is what I like about it is that, well, not necessarily like about it. This isn't until Jordan Peele and Daniel Kaluuya, it's, you know, produce some of the producers on here. This is definitely not a typical Jordan Peele movie, not in the yeah. slightest. When I seen his name, I automatically think about these weird psychological thrillers, but this was not one of them. Yeah. Not in the slightest. And Daniel Kaluuya, I'm liking him. He's... He doesn't know how to spread his money. You know yeah. what I mean? He's an actor. He's doing some producing. And he's still young. So he's going to make his money turn. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jordan Peele was an executive producer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. definitely don't go in thinking that this is a Jordan Peele type of movie because it's not. Um, I'm not going to say that it paints the church in a negative light because these things do happen. Yeah. Um, don't think it's most churches because it, it is not. It was a scandal that rocked it. We've seen some scandals, um, and you know, in our day. Uh, these mega churches getting caught misspending money and just doing all kind of stuff they're not supposed to do. But this man has a. Um, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm going to say he's supposed to be a pastor. He has a lust. He has a sickness for lust, and that's all I'm going to say. He has no business trying to open up, <laughs> reopen up the church. He needs to go and let it go and do some healing within himself because he. I'm sorry. He's saying he's a pastor. He is not. Yeah. Okay. To let it go. Yes. I can sit How here and tell you that I you that I can go rent win a, a marathon, but that's a lie. I can walk the marathon, but I'm not going to win it. That's just that's just a, he doesn't need to be a pastor. Yeah. I'm with this. Oh gosh, I'm so I'm so torn. I, oh, I think this is the first time I've no, maybe the third time I've ever given this score. I'm going with a two and a half on the Ooh. clappers. I I think we've only done that twice. One was a Clint Eastwood movie, and one was the Kevin Bacon. And you should have left something. Movie. I, <laughs> Left us alone. This because it was so discombobulated and patchy, and a lot of it was kind of like a mockumentary. They were trying to document their lifestyle to get the church back, but it was discombobulated. Things weren't clear to me, well, and I didn't. I'm gonna give it one. Ooh, wait! I tried oh to watch it the first time. I fell asleep because I, I wasn't feeling that great, so I was like, "Let me watch it the next day." I fell asleep again. I just didn't like it. Um, it I'm gonna go with one out of five. I mean, I can't even blame her. I mean, I'm, I, and honestly, I should have just been giving it a two. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like Sterling is a fantastic actor, by the it's way. Fantastic. But it, it was just this movie in particular. Not good. Wasn't feeling it. I, you know, I'm sorry. I think this is my first time retracting. Yeah. I'm going to retract and go with the soft two. Okay. I think this, <laughs> I don't think we need to say too much more about this. I, I think you guys get it. Watch it on Peacock. Um. There's a couple, maybe uh, one or two sex scenes. They weren't very graphic, but they're, you know, so you may not want your children to watch it, but just don't go into this thinking this is how all churches are. But very discombobulated. I'm going with the two. Joe's going with the one. I think we're done here. Are we done here? We're done here. We're done here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in to our movie review for Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul.
Don't forget, we are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. And we're on Cash App if you like to make a donation. Yep. And keep in mind, you're going to see a lot of our horror and psych thrillers going to be loaded up on the FearCon Network. Please visit FearCon.com. we got some great stuff coming up for Halloween to celebrate, some guest panels and all that good stuff. All right? Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you soon.